So in our first reading today, Moses is talking to the Israelites. And he said to them, I have set before you today life and prosperity, death and adversity. See? Moses is saying there's a choice for you. You either choose life and prosperity or death and adversity. And I think for us, we don't really uh, experience that all the time, especially with our choices. For example, what you will eat in the morning, what you will wear, what time you will wake up. You know, it's not like a life that life and death choice that we have to make, right? But there are choices that is life and death. Okay? And it has to do whether we would obey God or not. Okay? It says here, if you obey the commandment of the Lord your God that I am commanding you today, by loving the Lord your God, walking in his ways, and observing his commandments, then you shall live and become numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. Our choices has consequences, whether that's life or death. My, one of my mentors told me, Ken, you could hide your choices in life, okay? Especially the sin that we commit in secret, in the dark. But he told me, but the consequences, you can't hide it. It will come out one way or the other, right? So it's, it's very true. You might not experience death at once, but when you commit sin, there's a spiritual death that happened already. Because in Scripture, it says the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. And we know whenever we commit sin, there's going to be consequences. Whether that's legal, you could get into prison. Whether that's health, you could get sick or you could die. Whether that's in your relationship, it could break up your relationship. Okay? Whether in finances, you lose money. Okay? All these are consequences. And you can't hide it. The choices that you make every day, you could hide it. But the consequences, you can't hide it. It will come out in a matter of time. So every day, we're given this choice. And, 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 and it says here, right? But if your heart turns away and you do not hear, but are led astray to bow down to other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall perish. You shall not live long in the land. Okay? So that's the, that's the thing. You know, whenever we put things or other people over God, we commit idolatry. And those could be our attachments and especially addiction. We put things, other thing, or other person over God. And when we do that, we are already experiencing that. So every day, we're, we're, we're given a choice to obey God's commandment or not. And people think that God's commandment is something that is imposed to us that restricts us our freedom to enjoy life. But that is not the case. Okay? An analogy that uh, uh, you know, I was thinking uh, as I prepared this homily it's like you're driving, right? You're driving, there's lanes, there's lines that separate from each lane, okay? There's also uh, so-called that, uh, I don't know the term, but it's called wake up alert rumble. When you fall asleep, you'll swerve, and then there's a rumble that will wake you up, okay? And also there's a guardrail, and for, for me, this wake-up alert rumble is very helpful for me because I fall asleep easily when I'm driving. In fact, last year, April, I had an accident. Coming back here to, uh, from, from Cumbermere to Ottawa, I fell asleep, and I swerve. And I'm glad that there was a guardrail there, or else I will fall in the ditch, I could have died. 
Really. So commandments are like this. Commandments are like the wake-up alert rumble, the guardrails, the line that separates the two lanes. And if people will just drive, have a safe distance between you and the car before you, and, you know, don't, and don't cross each lane unless you will really need to cross by overtaking the car before you and use the proper signal, it's okay. But imagine you driving and others driving, no, they don't follow the rules. They just cross from one lane to another without using their, 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 their signals. They fall asleep, they, you know. It's going to be chaos. Imagine, will you, will you feel safe driving? No. You will, you will experience a lot of fear. Because no one is following the, the, the rules in driving. It's the same with the commandments. If only all people will follow the commandments, we will experience peace. We will experience joy. We will experience freedom in this society. Okay? So, as I've said, Moses, just as Moses presented to the, 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 the Israelites two choices, only two choices. Either you will obey God or you will not obey. The choice is yours. You have free will. But there will be consequences. And consequences, you don't have free will with that. Okay? So it's the same with us. During this Lent, what are we choosing? Are we choosing life or death?